The best time of year is this time in Melbourne for the Melbourne International Comedy Festival on for still quite a few more weeks. And one guy who's performing this year is an old friend of mine, Yay. Simon Taylor. Ooh, all, all the love. Thank you. That <laughs> it's was been so, so nice. long. It's seriously been five years. <laughs> and when I first met you, I think I accidentally called you a magician, but you're an illusionist at the time. What's happened since then? I'm everything. I've done magic. There's a little bit of magic in the show. There's some singing in the show. There's improv in the show. There's all my stand-up stuff. So I just cram in all the skills I've ever done into one big show. You see, when I first met you, I remembered asking you all about how you learnt to be an illusionist, and yeah. I remember you taught yourself. Yeah. Is it the same with comedy? It's the same, you just, you know, you, you just get the bug for it and go, all right, I've got to go out and do as many shows as possible and learn how to do it. So it's that same obsession I have. With yeah. magic, it's like in the bedroom, just rolling my, a coin over my fingers or playing <laughs> with a card. And with stand-up, it's going to every single gig in Melbourne. Sometimes I do four gigs a night, five gigs wow. a night, just to get the comedy right. So if you see my show, I've practised it a lot. Now it's called Human. Yes. What's what's the thought behind that? Well, it's just basically I travel a lot. So I've been doing gigs in places like Cambodia and in Indonesia, all across America, a country Australia. So I've just have to connect with humans no matter oh, cool. where they're from. So when you go and do comedy for people, you realize, hey, you can make anyone laugh. And so the show is just about no matter where I go, trying to connect with people. Um, you, do you have one of your flyers with you? Yeah, you I do. Just yeah, I'll grab, grab it. it. And there's a reason why I want him to bring it. Because, Simon, you chose to just feature half your face, the <laughs> right hand side. Most people are a bit precious about one side of their face being the better side. Is right. that your better side? No, actually, this one is the one I prefer. So I actually like this angle that why we're, we're here. Why didn't you use your better side? I'm not that precious. It just, <laughs> it, as long as you come to the show, I don't care what side of the face of my face you see. Well, hopefully we'll see both sides. Hopefully. Absolutely. Maybe I'll just do it behind, half behind the curtain. Oh, that's actually... No, don't Mystery. do that. Mystery. We no, want to see all of you. You'll see, well, you'll see... Well, not all of you, of but like you. most the, parts. The PG parts of me. What um, what other shows have you checked out? I you know you've obviously just come from Adelaide. Yeah, so, oh, look... Do you I, have time to? No, yeah, yeah, of course. I, I, I get to... I just get along to a lot of lineup shows, so I see other comics do like five, ten minute spots. So, so some of the ones that you know and love, like Stephen K. Amos and Husey are, are, are playing... And I love those guys, and I, I, I'm lucky I get to gig with them now. I used to watch them on Amazing. TV going, these are my idols. And now they're like, hey, you're on after Steven. I'm like, oh, sweet. Uh, so those guys are amazing. Uh, definitely go see uh, my friend Tegan Higginbotham. Go see, uh, well, I love Sam Simmons as well. He's doing pretty well. Go see Bart Freebun, Nick Cody. There's so, oh okay, my God, I don't God, know what, so I don't know what sort of, um, like, how deep you think our pockets are, because we are going to be spending every cent this month, it seems. You have to. Oh, it's worth it's it. It's worth it. Come on, it's like, tw it's like 25 bucks and you get to see. It's a, a whole bunch. Okay, here's the thing. It's a great, go, go see a comedian that you can go with a family, right? One that mum would like. I'm a pretty clean comic. Mum's like me. So go, come bring your mum to my show. <laughs> if you want to go on a date, then maybe you go to something like, you know, one of the, uh, the, the bigger names or you go see someone like. A bit cheeky. Yeah, someone a bit cheeky. Um, uh, and then you can just go to one with your mates or with your work colleagues. So there's no there's no reason just to go, well, I'm going to see one comedian. No, you can't. You can How go you see choose? different comedians for different people and, and read the bios and read the reviews yep. and and just contact comedians on social media as well. If you just hit me up on, on Twitter, Mr. Simon Taylor, and say, hey, who's a good comedian to take, you know, a first date to? I'll tell you. You know, his, I know them all. His social media is, as he said, Mr. Simon Taylor. But when you read it at first, it looks like Mrs. Iman Taylor. Yeah, I've so got I'm that sorry, well. but that's good. That's a good way to help people remember. Re Mrs. But Iman it does. Ta I'm I on Taylor. Mrs. I'm on that. Taylor. Remember that. Um, all right, let's do a quick five with you for yes. on the list and find out what's on your list. Where is your favourite bar in Melbourne? Favourite bar in Melbourne has to be the Butterfly Club in the city because on Ooh. Friday nights they have Fab Friday where they have piano bar so you can sing along to the uh, Trevor Jones on piano. It's can the best. Sing? Yeah, I can see oh, the okay. singing in my show. I can right. do it all. Oh, okay, yeah. I definitely won't go to that one. No, no, I mean, I'll go see you. I, I wouldn't go somewhere. If I you don't to want to sing, you can just you can just <laughs> sit in the crowd while other people sing, okay. or you can do sing along, or you can just watch. I'll, I'll watch. Butterfly Club. That sounds pretty great. fun. And um, best burger in Melbourne? I like Danny's Burgers because they're open at really late. So yep. it's like 1 or 2. I finish a bunch of shows, and I hang out with comics, and then it's 1 or 2 a.m., and then I go to Danny's Burgers on St. George's Road. So that's the best one for me because it's open late. Very good. What about your secret place in Melbourne? Okay, so this is what I do anytime I come back from overseas or interstate. Uh I go to Brunswick Street, I go get a $2.50 slice of pizza, I stand out on the street and just watch the cars go by and the world go by as I'm stuffing pizza in my face. What pizza? Uh, just margarita, you got to keep it simple. you got to right. just go for the classic. Where would we find you on a Sunday in Melbourne? 
On a Sunday, I'd probably be running around to gigs. I might be at the Comics Lounge, I might be at some of the other uh, smaller rooms uh, jumping around in Melbourne. So there is an extensive list of, of open mic comedy rooms and bigger comedy rooms in Melbourne and I'm always gigging. Always about the comedy. Mm, yes. Um, and finally, where do you take a babe on a date? Babe on a date, okay. So for coffee, St. Ali, South Melbourne. Good call. Uh, for a drink, I would go to uh, Gym Palace in yep. the city. Great call. Cool. And ideally, my place. Oh, he's a charmer, isn't he, <laughs> ladies? Look at this cutie pie. Well, Simon, we're so excited to check out your show, Human. It is part of the Melbourne International Comedy Festival. And let's try and not have five years between the next Yeah, I know. Show. Let's keep, let's maybe, maybe you know, yeah. let's five, five days max. We'll put it. We'll okay, oh, I look forward to coming and checking out the show. Thanks, Candy. Thanks, darling.